Hi everyone, my name is Guillaume and welcome to a new episode of Hit the Tone. Hello guys, I hope you're doing fantastic today. Welcome to this new episode of Hit the Tone on Thomas Guitars and Basses. If you're not familiar with the series, I'm basically taking intros, riff, licks, bits of famous songs and try to give you all the tools you need to hit the tone. As per usual, you decide what song I'm gonna be covering next, so just put it down in the comment section and I'll get to it as soon as possible. While you're down there, please consider liking this video and subscribing to the channel. Thank you very, very much in advance. Today, we're looking at the song Red Bone by Childish Gambino. You know. Now you might be like, wait, Childish Gambino? That's not a guitar player. Well, okay, fair, but the guitar part in Redbone is just phenomenal. It's the coolest guitar sounds, like a mix of the 60s and the 70s, but with the modern production, it's just I, I really love it, it's one of my favorite songs, and yeah, I thought it'd be cool to uh, tackle this one. Now, the guitar on this track was recorded by the producer, Ludwig Göransson, and he explained that he was using a vintage Telecaster uh, for that recording, like a 60s uh, rosewood fretboard kind of Telecaster. Now, as I'm not allowed to touch a Telecaster without Chris being in the room, I'm not gonna use that, and I'm just gonna go with my Strat. Also to sort of prove the point that if you have a single coil equipped guitar, it will definitely be enough to get close to the sound. And for that particular song, I'm gonna use the neck pickup and that's a basic tone. Now again, ideally you would have some sort of rosewood fretboard Telecaster uh, to play the song, but it's really not mandatory because we're gonna put a lot of effects on it and we're gonna have a look at this in our amp and pedal section. There's a really cool video out there where uh, Ludwig actually goes through his recording process for Redbone and explains exactly what he's using to track the guitar on that song. Now, it's not really helpful for most guitar players because, well, the gear he uses is vintage and very expensive. <laughs> so I'm gonna try to make it work with things that are rather affordable and definitely still on the market. So for this song, I'll be going through the Marshall JCM 800. The controls will be on the screen. Now I'm not talking about a specific Marshall versus Fender kind of sound. It's just a basic clean sound. To be fair, I'm not even sure that he's going through an amp for that recording and not maybe like straight into the, the console. And as far as the effects go, the original song was tracked using a Gibson Maestro Rhythm and Sound G2 unit, which is definitely a vintage unit. Uh, it's basically a multi-effect with the Maestro fuzz, uh, ring modulator, auto wah, and some more uh, stuff in there. Uh, absolutely vintage, really hard to find, and really expensive if you do find one. So to emulate that, in at least for the intro of this song, I'll be using two Earthquaker devices pedals. The Spatial Delivery, which is gonna be my auto wah pedal, emulating what the Gibson Maestro G2 is doing, and the Dispatch Master reverb all the way down, but with the delay, because he does explain that in post-production, he adds a triple, uh, dot, triple note, triple dotted, triple dotted note, something like that, delay on the track. And that is gonna take our sound there. <laughs> One thing to keep in mind if you're using an auto wah pedal or any sort of like ring modulators is like most of them are very much touch sensitive. Either uh, spatial delivery if you're using something like a Qtron or uh, the Moore envelope 
there's there's one with an envelope on it. I can't remember the name exactly. It'll be, oh, by the way, everything will be in the link in the description box down below. Everything I'm using and some more recommendations at different price points. What I was saying is uh, they're very touch sensitive and the range of the Odawa is going to be very much influenced by how hard or soft you are picking. So keep that in mind. Maybe if you don't get exactly the right tone with your pedal, the problem comes from your picking and not essentially the pedal. Now as some sort of bonus for that video, I'm also going to be covering the solo sound uh, from this song because this is just too cool to ignore. Again, going through the Maestro G2 uh, unit using the fuzz and then doubling the track within the door to put a higher octave with it. Not going to do that right now, it's not the objective, trying to make it as simple as possible. So I will be using the Fuzz Bender by Keely Electronic as a fuzz. The cool thing about this, I can uh, dial in the bias to have like that really gritty germanium sound, which is what I'm going to do. You'll see the controls on the screen, as well as the TC Electronic sub and up to add the higher octave. And that's going to take us from there. <laughs> to that sound. Now again, it is an approximation of the sound because if you hear it within the track, the octave is actually panned on one side and the dry signal is panned on the other one. But I think that's pretty close. I really like that sound. So with all that set up, let's jump onto the final part of that video, which is as usual, the most important and is how to play the song. Now, as usual, if you're not much of a visual learner, don't worry, the tabs are available through a link in the description box down below. For everyone else, let's get started and have a look at a fretting hand. And now on to the picking hand. Again, and I can't stress that enough, if you're using any sort of Odawa or ring uh, modulation kind of pedal, they're usually very touch sensitive. So keep that in mind if you think a pedal's broken or it's not doing exactly what you want. They're very, very kind of sensitive to dial in and then sensitive to how hard you pick. And now same thing with the solo section of the song started with that fretting hand. <laughs> Now, I'm not 100% sure on all the bends, to be honest, because there's not like a clear video where you see if it bends all the strings up to pitch or if it slides up uh, to the note. So my ears tell me bend, I'm gonna go with that. Don't take it as an absolute truth. With that said, let's have a look at the picking side of it. <laughs> Alright guys, and with all that said and done, that is it. I think you have all the tools you need to hit the tone on Red Bone by Childish Gambino. Now I'm not sure that I had seen this song in the comment section to be completely honest with you, but it's one of my favorite and I, I just, I've been wanting to do it for so long, so. There we go. But do not forget that it is indeed a recommendation-based format. So whatever song you have in mind and you'd like to see on the channel, please put it down in the comment section down below and I'll get to you as soon as possible. While you're down there, if you can consider liking this video, subscribing to the channel, thank you very, very much in advance. Now you guys have a fantastic week and I will see you next Monday in a new episode of Hit The Tone. <laughs>